Cable, part of the Marvel Legends Juggernaut Builder Figure Series made by Hasbro. Check that out. Some nice card art here on the side. It's the back of the card. This is Cable out of the packaging. And uh, right away, this to me is the best Cable action figure in the Marvel Legends scale. There haven't been too many. Uh, the one by Toy Biz, I just didn't like the head sculpt and the body was too small. But this one is fantastic. It's based on his costume from the X uh, Sanction event, I think it was called. And yes, he did have a tattoo like this X symbol in the comics. And he did wear this costume. The only difference is... This gun looks like a reuse from the Forge 2-pack. And I this gun, so it had these two weapons, other than the Juggernaut part. And in the comics it was a little different, but everything else, the detailing here, it's incredible. Uh, check this out. This is all sculpted detail. Hopefully it's going to show up, but he has a bionic face, half a face. This is true to the comic book look. You see the right eye here and face, it's all scarred up. Nice hair detailing. It kind of looks like Ed McGuinness art. Uh, he was the artist in those issues. And even though my only little gripe is I would have preferred a full face with just a bionic eye. You know, his classic look of Cable. And I'm not, too, not a big fan of the half bionic face look. But again, it is comic accurate to the storyline. And I hope you could see it here, but the techno-organic virus, it's all on the side here. And it even looks a little bit maybe on the side here, like in the comics. It was like all over him. And the bionic arm here, the detailing on it, all sculpt detail. Uh, you could feel the sculpting here. It's kind of odd. I thought this was a removable vest. And I was looking at it, like, could you remove it? But you really can't. It's the actual sculpt itself. It's so well done. It looks removable, but it's not. And I just want to show you the, the detailing here. You see this? All textured. All of this. Hasbro really did spend a lot of money to make this figure compared to others because all of this, the texturing, the sculpting here, it's incredible. Uh, this is loose, the, the belt thing here. It's a loose belt, belt area. You see all the pouch bags here. I'm not sure if this is an original part or reused. They'll probably reuse it somewhere else. Bags on the side here. It's just for detail and show. There's nothing there. You can't remove it. This is nice. It's a separate piece that they put on. It is in the comic books like this. It does hamper the articulation though a little. Because you see this extends here. And you're not going to get more uprange than that. Uh, when I get to the articulation part. This moves really well. This upper body thing here. Really well. I mean I'm just really impressed with this cable figure. And scale-wise, uh, this is how uh, he should have looked. You see, compared to, let's say, Deadpool, Cable is bigger, and he's bigger than your average Marvel legend. And that's how it should be. And that's how it was in the comic books. And the past versions of the character never had the scale right at all. Height-wise, is almost 7 inches tall. Uh, let's get to the weapons before I show the figure more. This looks like a very plain, I don't know, weird looking gun design. But he actually does hold it well. And you can see the, the finger it goes right there. It does hold it well. Uh, this, you could remove this. It looks like a reuse definitely from the Forge 2-pack and other figures.
and yeah, you could hold that one well. Uh, the only little odd thing is there's no place to hold it on the back. Usually he has like holsters, but if he doesn't hold it, there's no place to store it. But onto the figure itself, as you could tell, I like the serious sculpt, the look, the detailing on it, all of this. And he's wearing a glove here. You can see even here, there's sculpting on the glove. And even right here as well. And uh, to the articulation, up and down is pretty good. See that? I can't go side to side. That's ball jointed. And I got ball jointed shoulders up, down, side to side. Swivel biceps here. And double articulated elbows. The wrists are ball jointed, can go in or out, and you can't spin it. Same here. Has a nice open grip. You can see the trigger finger separate here. The pivot torso, it's kind of weird. I'm not sure where exactly the articulation point is. It's somewhere up here, but good range of down, up, to the sides. It spins really well. And it got a swivel waist, you see right here. So it really is articulated well. It's covered up by the belt area. Ball jointed at the hips, side to side, up, down. Has swivel thighs, but it's almost hidden the articulation because of the straps here. And it really nicely done, especially when you could hide that articulation point. It did a good job. Double knees. And the only articulation that's really hampered is the ball jointed ankles here. Because check this out, you can go down, but the up is really restrained because this plate really goes down. But you do get the side to side range okay, even with this. But other than that one little articulation that's kind of restrained, everything else is just fine. And especially here, it really moves well, really detailed. And I'm going to give my final thoughts on this action figure in a moment. So overall, Rob, what did you think of Cable, part of the Juggernaut uh, series by Hasbro? And fantastic figure. Finally, a cable figure that I actually like. Uh, they had one by Toy Biz, but I never liked that one. I didn't like the head sculpt. I didn't like the body size wasn't big enough. Hasbro made one a couple of years ago, part of a two-pack. But that one also just uh, wasn't right. But this is the best version of cable in the six-inch scale. It is comic accurate to the... X-Men storyline with the Aven with the Avengers, X-Sanction. It is that storyline. This is the costume in it. Has the tattoo uh, detailing on the right arm. It has that half cyborg face. I guess that's the only little complaint I have. This half cyborg face, which is comic accurate, but it is not as classic comic look of having a regular face and just a bionic eye. And I would have preferred that to have on a cable figure, if you could only get one. But as I said, this is a comic accurate look for that storyline. And so in a way, I hope we actually do get another cable in the future. More of his classic early years, you know, that year one type look he used to have. With the big shoulder pads and stuff like that. This is his more current look in recent years. And for that storyline... They really captured the details well, and outstanding version of Cable. It's a big size. It matches well with Strife, who Hasbro made a couple of years ago, and it's just a really well-made figure. Finally, a good version of the character to add to my display, and I think to your display as well. I would recommend this Cable. It is well-made, well-sculpted, the detailing... The weapons pretty much has it all. 
and it took this long to finally get a good cable figure and we should have had one years ago really but this is total high quality highly recommended if you like the character if you like the X-Men definitely get it and it is comic accurate which is really cool and uh, that's the review thanks for watching and talk to you later